So welcome back again. Uh, in these following two sessions, our uh, discussion teachers will uh, inform us about the role of advisors. Uh, firstly, Ayşe Candaş will make a presentation. Let me introduce herself to you. Ayşe Candaş has been working as an English teacher at the head of foreign language department and GCSA examiner and a principal for various private institutions and school since uh, 1998 after she graduated from Gauss University English language teaching. She had been in London to attend and uh, OTC and uh, Hamertis and West London College before graduating. She has always been keen on leading MEN studies at schools. She has dedicated herself to teaching English as a foreign and a second language and has never stopped teaching and learning English following the uh, license approaches and methods in order to broaden not only uh, noise colleges but her students. She highly believes that a language, a language teacher should both br uh, bridge the gap between cultures and be uh, devoted, self-disciplined, enthusiastic and open-minded. Therefore, she thinks that MEN studies at school has a very important role of conducting MEN club activities. She's married and has a nine years old son. So, uh, Ms. Jandash, stage is yours. Thank you very much for your lovely presentation. Hello, everybody. Let me start sharing my screen, first of all. Today, you know, uh, my topic will be about guiding students for Model United Nations as an advisor. Hello, everyone, once again. I hope you have had very informative sessions so far. You must have learned and revised many details in MUN Summit. I am also very pleased to be with you today. I have been an MUN advisor for years. Uh, I would like to share my humble experience with you. But first of all, um, I would like to thank MUN Turkey team for giving me the opportunity to be a speaker today. Actually, my journey started years ago, but last year, I applied uh, a seminar held by MUN Turkey. Uh, it was a kind of seminar and a workshop I met very dedicated and brilliant advisors there and also Emi and Turkey team. I could say that I learned a lot of things which made me assist my students at Emi and club. Then we organized the conference. Uh, unfortunately, because of the coronavirus pandemic, we had to cancel the conference. Uh, but again, Emi and Turkey guided us in every step. It was a pleasure of us cooperating with them. Thank you once again. Uh, I have been an advisor. I worked as a conductor, a facilitator, as a mentor, because I have been an English teacher for 22 years. My task is teaching English including preparing students for MUN conferences. An advisor is someone who offers you the best conferences. He teaches you, he cooperates with other advisors. He shares his experience, although he has had no chance to participate in a real MUN conference. Um, unfortunately, we couldn't be a delegate when we were younger. We work countless hours to make you improve your skills, which are 21st century skills like debating, critical thinking, organizing a conference, sometimes writing opening speeches or resolutions. We get the responsibility of many students traveling to another city to attend a conference. We deal with the plane tickets, the transport, accommodation, eating out or wandering around the city when our students have some free time, or we just wait in the waiting lounges for you to ask or give a hand when needed during the conference. Sometimes it is really uncomfortable to sit just on a plain chair and wait for hours. Sometimes you wait for the uh, luggage of the students, especially the last day of the conferences. We try to uh, do our best to fulfill all our duty, duties, uh, but then we get really pleased 
because we think that you all raise awareness of global issues and your success. Well, nowadays it is really trendy, very popular. Do you want to become a MUNER? Is it because MUN has been popular among teenagers? This is why you want to participate in conferences, to meet new people. Please just keep this question in mind. By the end of this session, you will have answered the question, I think, about what we should do. Before the conference, as all brilliant delegates, um, distinguished speakers have been telling you for two days, uh, we have to be careful. We uh, need to pay attention to our roles. You will be assigned a country to represent and attend the model United Nations conference as delegates. You will research, you will debate, you are just going to write resolutions. Um, you will express your country's policies about poverty, peace, disarmament, disputes between countries, financial issues or international problems. You will be able to bring current international issues to life and you are just going to get a better understanding of the world. Therefore, I strongly suggest you study the history of the country you will present. What do we need to learn? This is the first lesson of mine when I just run an MUN club in the school. If you don't know anything about the history, you can't do anything. Um, History is one of the key words, unless we know what has happened throughout all these years. We are lack of information about the civilizations. In order to be aware of the realities, we should first start the migration period. I think you will all agree with me, the discovery of the continent America reoriented the world. Another milestone in history is the Industrial Revolution, you know, which maintained order of the new world. It impacted the world where a major increase in population, which led people migrate to find work or settle again. Then the First World War, which lasted four years, was an international conflict, unfortunately. Just after 21 years, the Second World War started. The borders were redrawn, as many as 6 million dead, great cities reduced to rubble, families torn apart. It was caused unprecedented hardship. However, it accelerated change. If we continue with this change, we need to know how cultures, traditions, customs, of various countries differ. With the impact of these historic changes, the world has been called global. So when we think globally now, we have better know what is going on in the world. When you are assigned a country, you have to know the geography in terms of its physical, cultural, political, and economic signs. Another useful tip of mine should be saying hello. Uh, when you are assigned a country, it will be really appreciated to say hello in that official language. Instead of saying hello, uh, when you have your opening speech, uh, better to say hola, namaste, bonjour, salam, or salut. And uh, let me just tell you, some students really do not know about United Nations committees. You need to learn the factors behind the policies of the countries. In real life, you should know what your committee has done. Please do read your study guide because it will be on the website of the conference you are going to attend write your opening speech and position paper. But when you get, uh, want to get some information, the main part is unitednations.org. We have got six committees there. Let me just show you the website. You may have your 
um, screenshots here. As I told you, we had six here. We have got 17 sustainable goals here. Here is worth the students. Another one is BBC Co UK, where you can get a lot of information about the country, territory, or international organization. And another one is Library of Congress. You can just read the country's policies and uh, their examples here. Another useful uh, website is un.org. You can see the member states here. This uh, is really important. You should just know what you are going to do. As you can see, we have got six main committees, but in MEN conferences, or when you are presented a website of a conference, you will see dozens of them. And sometimes you will hear people in the corridors in your school talking about Daizek, Sokum, Ekosek, who, if you are not familiar with these, you will think that these other people from um, the universe are talking about something really different but you should know what these committees do. If you want to get more information, the basic area on the web, uh, uh, on the internet is uh, menturkey.com, especially for the first timers. When you want to reach the site, you will get lots of written articles for you. You're just going to learn what is going on uh, in the conferences. When you want to attend a conference, you will just see the calendar. Your advisor will tell you which uh, conferences are the best ones for you to take part, participate in. Um, Another issue of ours as advisors, I think our colleagues are here with us today. Uh, we have got a major problem with the attire. Although we have been telling our students many times that there is a Western business dress code, we unfortunately see students who prefer decolette, but um, please be careful, gentlemen, Please do not forget that you ought to wear your tie with your shirt tucked in. You might wear shirt, uh, whether it's a long or short sleeve one, but there should be always a tie which is tied appropriately. And you should, uh, it shouldn't be worn loosened around the neck. Um, I think high school uh, students prefer it in that way, but this is a formal serious um, occasion. You should wear your dress trousers and dress shoes. And for the ladies, uh, please try to wear low heeled shoes because when you are not accustomed to wearing high heel, uh, you will feel really uncomfortable when you are rushing from one session to another because you are going to um, run from one place to another. Um, in three days or four days time. Um, you can wear professional dresses, you can have combinations as skirts and blouse, but the skirts must be around knee length or below. And you may use scarves as part of a professional assemble and you can wear your hat dress. Please do not wear any kind of jeans. These are forbidden and no trainers during the conference or a law of very, of very high heeled shoes and no mini skirts, please. Um, advisors are there to warn you. Sometimes we come together. When we gather, we just criticize some students because we always 
tell our students to wear properly, neatly, according to the regulations of the conferences. Um, this is an example for you. You know that MUN is not for only high school students, but also university students. Um, dark colors are the ones that we desire most, but you can use um, some accessories to make you more lively. And you delegates, you will debate issues. You will act out as a citizen of the country you are assigned. You will argue a perspective which you may not believe in. We do not ask your personal point of view. It is really uh, essential that you understand you are going to represent a nation, a country's uh, point of view. So I kindly ask you to search websites like CIA.gov, where you can have the World Factbook. And again, News BBC Co. UK, memory.blog.gov. You can see the country profiles. I just showed you these websites. And the main website is un.org. Member states are really important for us. If you still don't know, after all these sessions in two days, you may also download the guide for points and notions uh, from wfucampuslabs.com. You will reach many uh, good information, effective ones on the internet, but you know there are lots of um, bad sites, so you should just refer to UN and MUN Turkey mostly. Another thing that I have uh, witnessed is the pronunciation. I needed to remind it while I was preparing this presentation because I heard many people just telling it as delegate. Uh, these are how we pronounce the words delegate or delegate. Um, you know, we are English teachers. We want to teach you English in an accurate and fluent way. Um, that's why I just want to mention this correct and clear pronunciation is as important as listening and conversational skills when we speak. Remember of the session before me, she paid attention to the listening part. If you want to become a good listener or a speaker, in English, you have to listen and speak. You should take notes while listening and you should speak um, clearly so that the others could understand you. Pronunciation and clear understanding of English speech are two skills which complement each other. So it means that if you know how to pronounce the words and phrases correctly with the proper intonation, your level of speech understanding is also increased. And another item, the more words and phrases you know and use, the more successful you will be at MUN conferences. There is a website here, you can visit it, but you have heard how our brilliant delegates, the speakers um, have told you those words and phrases which we definitely do not use in daily conversation might seem confusing. You can't hear anyone talking about opening speeches, study guides, or motions, uh, yielding stage to another one. I know if English is a foreign language, moreover, MUN English is another. It might seem challenging at first, and here is the guide for you. I don't want you to be in that situation. Sometimes we see students there as especially the first timers. And there are some don'ts and do's in the conferences. There's no doubt that you will see a great number of talented delegates. Uh, it might be their 15th time to attend a conference, but don't let anything or anyone discourage you. After just one conference, you will be more confident, I assure you. 
but um, you have that you know what to do and not to do. Never address yourself with the first singular pronoun I, which is a common mistake. Um, do not call others by their first names during any formal session. Please practice before you attend the conference. Do not forget uh, that it is necessary to have allies when it is time to vote for the resolution. Couple break times for this. Unless you keep calm, you might find yourself yelling at somebody which is not appreciated. The teacher will warn you in a best way. Since this is a very formal occasion, you may pass notes, but please do not talk. You can raise a point just after a delegate has finished his speech. You cannot interrupt a speaker. You might be tense, okay? You might be excited. Don't panic. Perhaps sometimes you are indecisive to utter a statement. Do not speak fast. Be courageous. Try to I'm so sorry. Okay, try to control your voice. While talking, make an eye contact with uh, some to get the attention of the people in the room. Be aware of the time you are provided, as I am aware right now. Articulate your main points. Avoid using coarse language. Uh, don't give others a chance to humiliate you for your crude words you might have uttered. Uh, why do you want to become a mooner? Please just think and then start. You will learn about the world you live in and you will become aware of global issues. You will meet new people I know. You will have a chance to develop a network before you sign up to LinkedIn. Improve your English. You will gain or improve your leadership skills and calculate your negotiation skills. You will get prepared for your career, which is really important if you study social sciences. And you will build confidence of speaking in front of audience, adding um, you're just going to try to find solutions to global issues. You will mature and you have a different point of view about humankind. This is why we have been here for two days. Uh, in spite of our differences, we all dance to the same bit. Thank you for participating and listening to me. I think you are all going to be brilliant Muners from now on. Thank you, Asa. Thank you very much uh, for this uh, great presentation. Thank you very much. So uh, time has left, so I hope to see you in, the, uh, in our last session. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you.